Here I come. The Bible has holy days. No feast days, no Easter. Easter buddy, Jay. No Christmas. Yes, good job, that chip. No, tell you what? I hate it. I hate it. It had all rent and eating fish. Roman Catholic Church has shown us evil. If you are Roman Catholic, you need to bring that Bible and show me where the God of the Bible says to follow Easter. And then ask yourself if you're following the God of the Bible or you're actually following the God of this world. Don't listen to this child. The book of Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20. Go unto them that call evil good. That call what? That call evil good. And good evil. The Bible says go unto them that call evil good and good evil. When you see Easter and you say that's a good day. My family comes together for Easter. My family is going out to the beach for Easter. You are in worship of a deity. Of a goddess, a old demon. I command you. Of Babylon. Easter is no, no, no innocent holiday. People used to die. And let me, tell, let me give people an example of where the Easter eggs come from in ancient Babylon. People, homosexual men and women used to paint themselves in the color of the, the paint with the X that they had hide and whoever find them could have to do any sexual act they want to them. You need to look up some of these things that you're following because if you're just a Roman Catholic or a known Christian and you don't read your book and you don't understand that the Bible says pick up the book Pick up the word and read. The Bible don't need a Easter. The Bible actually preaches against Easter. But let me the Bible say again. Let me hear what the Bible say again from Isaiah 5 and 20. Isaiah, sorry, chapter 5 and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Read. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. Put darkness for light and light for darkness. Some of you all don't even know about God's own holy day that he wrote in his Bible for you to partake with him. Go alone and go past you. Why you feel like for Jewish people? Not knowing that God, those who follow the most, I will follow his commands. Show me where God commands you to follow Easter or Christmas. Show me. Bring it. Bring the information. Ask your pastor. Can you show me where I'm following? Where God in the Bible is explicitly telling me to follow after Easter or Christmas. Or Thanksgiving, the Bible has its days of reverence. We, we are families to come together and be together in righteousness. The Bible is painful to some people. Some people feel if you don't pay attention to the Bible, that the God of the Bible knows here. I could go and do my thing at the side in the darkness, and God knows here. But let me ask you something. Where can you go in this earth where you're not under heaven? Where can you go in the world where you can't look up and not see the heavens and not be under the heavens? You feel it doing the right thing? You feel it God that some of you Christians have been deceived and to follow him, which is Lucifer, the God of this world. You have been deceived again and again. Papa's Christi, Lucifer. Let the, 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 the 40 days of mourning, they used to mourn and weep for Tammuz in ancient Babylon. <laughs> Women used to do that. This is absolute wickedness, but people don't know because nobody used to preach it. All your pastors is dumb dogs and devils. We get Jeremiah chapter 23, this one. Your pastor is supposed to be a watchman to make sure that all of them follow things like Easter, Happy Easter and Christmas. At least. But you following everything, you're eating anything, your pastor say give thanks. Bless and eat, kill and eat, Peter. 
eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, and feel like God anoint those things and bless those things. God is blessing nothing. The most high not blessing your pork. He is not blessing your shrimp. He's not blessing your lobster. Some of you have lobster in your belly right now. The most high have a problem with that. Let me get you wood. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. So the most high have to Go beyond to the pastor. Bible say what? No. Beyond to the pastor. Read. That is joy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Now listen here. I, I can't blame random people on the street for this. Plenty of your, your leaders have led you astray. Your leaders have taught you that what you're doing right now is good. Your leaders have given you that sweet, sweet, sweet cyanide of death. You're dying and you don't know. You all are dying and you don't know. You're poisoning yourself with cultural with, with, with cultural venom. That is Christmas, Carnival, Ash Wednesday, um, Pagan, Easter, Lent, all these holidays that you set up. It so happened that they are satanic holidays from the past that you don't know about. All of them. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that, they would have, that Satan would have set up days so that you would worship him involuntarily? You would worship him and not know. You would teach your children. Look, look, Easter coming up. Look, some eggs and give your child a chocolate egg. Not knowing you're giving it, initiating the child into a cult. You all look at, we, listen, our people can't even tell the difference between good and evil anymore. And so, I, I like to say this because a lot of people don't understand this technicality. They dropped two bombs on, Her on, on, on in Hiroshima and Nakazaki in Japan and these people got back up and became a nation and rival in America right now our people wasn't hit by no bomb but we destroyed and you know why we destroyed the word will show you why we destroyed read it the book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge for what? for lack of of knowledge for what for lack of knowledge when you lack knowledge you are destroyed did you know that carnival is not yours did you know that the god of the, the gods of the europeans has been taught us to carnival a goddess the god Bacchus. do you know that because you're living in a matrix and you don't understand that you need to get unplugged. And listen eh? That movie had a lot to do but with, with the truth right now. All Lord and Savior, the true Christ of the Bible, the true Christ, Yeshua is his name. He delivered each and every one of us. You see standing up here. We all were baptized in one baptism with the name. There's only one baptism. You need to have the name of God, the name of Christ, and the, and the Holy Spirit. You don't have those three, you have not been baptized. You're not baptized if your pastor say, we will baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Are those names? You are not baptized. We are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of the sleep. It's time to get up out of the sleep. You believe that you're free and tomorrow you're going to get up and you're going to acknowledge a goddess who you don't even know. Name, name Easter or Esther or the Queen Mother of Heaven. Andalite, the preacher for her to exchange his gifts at the first sign of spring in her name. I'll stop. They still do. They still do. When you partake in Easter, you're going to be part of that. And the Bible is telling you it's time is fast spent. It's time that you wake up out of your sleep. Wake up! Well, you fed up sleep, boy. Well, you fed up in the house. 
But let's keep on so long. Let's tired and fed up. We need to wake up and join the Most High in His rest. The Bible promotes the God of the, the God of the Hebrew Israelites, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Christianity gives you the goddess Esther. It gives you Nimrod on December 25th. It gives you Calabar to back us. We are lost for lack of knowledge. We are lost. We are a lost people. If you come and read some of these signs here, it'll show you that the so-called Negroes down here in Trinidad and Tobago, the so-called Negroes in Grenada, the so-called Negroes in Jamaica, the so-called Negroes in Manchester, the so-called Negroes in England, the so-called Negroes in America, all these so-called Negroes are actually the biblical Israelites. Like, like, what church you can go in and tell you why slavery happened to our people, right? Why the most I allow that? They allowed it because of the wickedness of our forefathers. We broke all God's commandments. Not one, not two, not three, not, not some, not all. Repeatedly, generationally. And the Lord promised us that he would carry us into cargo slave ships by means by means of cargo station into these lands. And we have fulfilled the, the, the oath of bondage. We have picked up the nation's philosophies. Let me use this book for the righteousness tonight. Huh? Because your pastor has no idea. Your pastor, all the pastor knows to leave your shoe. If you're in ministry, come out while you're young. Come out from the church. No time to be in church right now. It's time to get in this world. Brother, bless you, brother. You read it here. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. What we shall discontinue from? Shall discontinue from thine heritage. From what? From thine heritage. From what? From thine heritage. Black man, where does this continue from? From thine heritage. That is why the black man will pick up every uh, everybody else's heritage. When do all they dress up? They go on and eat and go tea. Because it's, cause it's time to play with the East Indians and them. Where? You ever see them come and dress up like you? Where you have Africa and the, what holiday in Africa are you following? We are destroyed. You don't know who you are. And tonight we're telling you who you are. This sign showing that you are the children of Israel. You come across your parents, your great grandfathers come across here and cargo slave ships was brought against their will. But our seed continued and today we are announcing it. We have to understand that knowledge is power. Edify yourself, my brothers and sisters. Tonight in Shogunas. Stay away from the paganism. Right? Understand that Egypt, that Egypt means bondage in the Bible. And bondage is what the most high promised us in this land. Every time you follow after these holy days that Satan has set up, you are putting on a fetter around your neck. You're putting chains around your neck. When you take a holiday, the holiday you feel like a holiday. Right? You take a holiday and your pocket getting thin. You have to go and work now. Because they set this thing for you. Let get some water there. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to save thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For he have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Which shall burn forever. You play up with God and the Bible and feel God is some God that just... When you, when you, it's only when you go to church, God is holy and comfortable. You will die a sinner. 